but uh, they're amazing. <laughs> you know, our, our yeah, firefighters they are. out in San Diego here and, and all up and down the state. Just firefighters in general, first responders, I mean, they do a lot of amazing work. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In general, they're just a uh, special kind of breed, that's for sure, you know. Um, and it's like, you know, you think about all the people they save and, you know, uh, they don't know any of these people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they're putting their own lives in, in harm's way to save them. I mean, that just speaks volumes about them as care. It speaks volumes about their character, you know, not to mention their talent. Um, so it's like, it's cool to hear, you, you know, like little kids saying they want to be firefighters when they grow up, you know what I mean? Like, and I, I come from a family of, you know, military and firefighters. My cousin Joe is a firefighter in okay. DC. Oh, really? and, yeah, you know, um, and that's the other thing, depending on where you live, like in DC, I mean, <laughs> you know, he, he's involved in fighting fire, sure, but, you know, for every fire, he's dealing with like 10 or 15 or 20 different types of like, you know, emergency medical responses, right. mm -hmm. or responding to some sort of crime scene where they're putting themselves in harm's way of potentially getting shot. I mean, right. you know, and they're staying focused the entire time, you know, and it's, uh, I think about that a lot. You know, um, there's more than fighting fire in their job. It's, you know, a lot of times we're going into low income neighborhoods right. around DC and there are 911 calls uh, and the fire department shows up because these people don't have health insurance. So they call the fire department to come out and assist because they can't go to the emergency room because they have no insurance. So they get a lot of calls like that too. And, uh, you know, then you hear these horror stories of how they're ambushed, you know, when they go into a house or a neighborhood, it's like people shoot at them. It's, that's a whole other story. Don't even get me started on that. But okay. um, I guess my point is they are just, uh, they're true heroes every day for us. And that's kind of the whole point of firefighter aid supporting it is not just honoring who we lost 19 years ago, but all of them, all of the firefighters who have also passed since 9-11 from 9-11 related cancers, from working at Ground Zero, and just passing away from being on the job, having those health effects. Um, right. Fires all over the country, you know. Um, it's an ongoing, I mean, 9-11 is still taking the lives of firefighters, you know. That in itself, I mean, a lot of firefighters, you know, it's, it's up to, I want to say, well over 500. Uh, you know, initially it was 343 that morning, but <clears throat> hundreds have died from 9-11 related cancer since then. Right, and, all the toxins. So it's so important to be able to yeah. provide support to these programs so these guys can get the services they need, you know? It's just got this crazy, this, this whole thing has had this crazy domino effect over the years. And uh, it's sad, you know, to hear these guys have like struggled the last 19 years after working at Ground Zero. They've struggled right. with their health and ultimately succumb to their illnesses. And it's just something we can't give up on. We have to figure out a way to, you know, save as many as possible that have been affected by this. So that's why we do what we, that's why Team Diora does, that's why we do what we do, is to save as many firefighters as possible and support their families. Correct. I believe it was John Stewart, if I'm not mistaken, the, you know, the comedian. And yeah. he basically called Congress out for not doing a better job of taking care of all these first responders and being sure that they get the financial support to help them get through some of these illnesses that they contracted. Um, right. In the best amount of weapons. So, good on him. And I'm glad that he's bringing awareness to first responders just all over their country in general. Right. Yeah. And he's been a great, yeah. And John is a great advocate for the FDNY and firefighters in general. I saw his, his, his speech at, you know, in front of Congress and I was so impressed and just so inspired by him. You know, he's just such an inspiration when it comes to his support for, for the 9-11 community. We all feel it. You know what I mean? We've all talked about it and it's like you, you watch him in that interview. And there's no bullshit going on there, man. Like he is not putting on some show. I mean, he's he that's coming from the heart there. And I just love how he called them out. It was just so real and so honest. And he spoke for everybody, clearly. Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah. I loved it. It was amazing. So ultimately, you know, that, that victim's compensation fund, uh, I can't uh, it was named after a firefighter, but that 
uh, basically my understanding was that, you know, it was, it was uh, approved to continue, I think, through 2092. So, the you know, basically telling us that all the firefighters and first responders who are affected by September 11th are going to get the medical care they need every day for the rest of their life. That's good. That's good. It's what they That's deserve good. from day one. You know, it's like had that, you know, um, had those measures been taken, had been put in place longer ago, I think, you know, um, 